Welcome to Electron Online. You may wonder why we have integration by parts in this set where we're talking about vectors because after all this is something you typically see in a first or second semester calculus course. But you'll see soon enough that we can apply the same kind of logic to some of the vector notation especially when we deal with divergences and with curls and with uh, gradients we can probably apply the same kind of thinking to those kind of situations so let's review what we mean by integration by parts and by the way it's a really handy way of doing integration so might as well get a quick reminder most of us probably have seen this before that the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du you essentially switch the u and dv to v and du because this may be easier to integrate than this and so that's why this is such a useful technique but where does it come from well we start with the basic product rule of derivatives the d dx the derivative with respect to x of a product of two functions f and g is equal to the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first then if we take the integral of the left side we take the integral from a to b of d dx of f times g you can think of this as a single function because the product of two functions becomes a single function and that looks a lot like the that the fundamental theory of calculus the integral of the derivative of a function equals the function evaluated at its endpoints essentially the function evaluated b minus the function evaluated at a so this is known as the fundamental theory of calculus so we use that principle then to apply it to this equation right here notice i take the integral of the left side which equals the integral of the right side now if i take this term right here and isolate it moving this term to the left side and turn the equation around I have the integral of f times dg dx is equal to this on the other side which is the integral of d dx of f times g minus the integral of g times df dx and then I realize that this right here because of the fundamental theory of calculus can be replaced by this so instead of writing this I'm going to write this so now I have the integral of f dg dx is equal to the product of the two functions evaluated at its endpoint minus the integral of g df we essentially have changed f dg to g df by writing it like this and this is what's known as integration by parts now to simplify it instead of d writing dg dx we can write g prime and df dx we can write f prime essentially we can write it like this or again the general formula that you might have seen before without the limits but now you can see how the integration by parts equation is derived it's simply by taking the product rule of a product of two functions we take the derivative of the left side and the rest you work through that you end up with the concept of the integration by parts we'll show you an example of how to utilize it because it's such a nice equation and then we'll show you how it's applied to those vector type notations we use the same principles to come up with very similar equations in that realm and so stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that <laughs> oh, that's quite a sneeze